Have you ever wondered why ships avoid passing under South America, specifically through the infamous Drake Passage? It's a question that has fascinated many for centuries. Trust me, it's not because they don't fancy a bit of adventure. In fact, the allure of the unknown has always drawn explorers to the seas. First things first, let's break down the basics. Understanding the Drake Passage is key to grasping why it's so avoided. The Drake Passage is the stretch of water between the southern tip of South America and Antarctica. It's a crucial link between the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans. It's named after Sir Francis Drake, an English explorer who, get this, never actually sailed through it. Instead, he navigated the Strait of Magellan. He passed through the Strait of Magellan, but the passage was named in his honor anyway. Quite the tribute, don't you think? Now why do ships steer clear of this legendarily treacherous route? The answer lies in its notorious reputation. For starters, the Drake Passage is the roughest stretch of ocean in the world. It's a sailor's nightmare come to life. Think of it as the ultimate maritime roller coaster, minus the safety harnesses. The unpredictability of the waves is a constant threat. The winds here can reach up to 80 miles per hour, and the waves, they can tower as high as a five-story building. Imagine trying to navigate through that. It's a daunting task even for the most experienced sailors. Even the sturdiest ships would rather avoid this watery gauntlet. But wait, there's more. The challenges don't end with the waves and wind. The Drake Passage is the narrowest part of the Southern Ocean, which means all the water from the Pacific and the Atlantic has to squeeze through this tight spot. It's like trying to fit an elephant through a keyhole. The sheer volume of water creates intense pressure and turbulence. And let's not forget the currents. The Antarctic Circumpolar Current is the only current that flows all the way around the globe without hitting any land. It whips through the Drake Passage at a breakneck speed, creating a churning, chaotic mess. Navigating these waters is like trying to drive through a never-ending storm. So yeah, it's not exactly smooth sailing. The combination of wind, waves and currents makes it one of the most challenging maritime routes in the world. But what about the alternative routes, like the Panama Canal? It's a question many might ask. Sure, it's longer, but it's infinitely safer. The calm waters and controlled environment of the canal are a stark contrast to the chaos of the Drake Passage. Plus, you get to see some lovely canal locks instead of battling monstrous waves and killer winds. It's a trade-off most captains are happy to make. In the end, the Drake Passage is a place best left to the brave souls on scientific expeditions and icebreaker ships. These vessels are specially designed to handle the extreme conditions. For everyone else, it's a hard pass, pun absolutely intended. The risks far outweigh the benefits for commercial and passenger ships. So, the next time you look at a map and wonder why ships don't just take the shortcut under South America, remember the perils of the Drake Passage. Sometimes, the long way round is the best way home. Safety and stability are paramount when navigating the high seas. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed this little dive into maritime mysteries, don't forget to like and subscribe for more fascinating facts. Catch you next time. Stay curious, stay adventurous, and keep exploring the wonders of our world. Until next time.